I'm, I, I am on the program for 15 minutes. You really don't want to hear 15 minutes about what Dimex is. So. But I'll tell you a little bit anyway. So first of all, I'm supposed to say welcome to Rutgers University. You've already been here, and you've already, the first thing you heard this afternoon was a disclaimer. But this is the State University of New Jersey, and it is one of the oldest institutions in the whole United States of any kind. In fact, it was founded in 1766 and was originally called Queens College. And uh, during the Revolutionary War, there was a, a colonel in the U.S. Uh, Army named uh, Henry Rutgers, and he gave the university $5,000 as a contribution, which was a lot of money in those days. This university expected a lot more, and so changed its name from Queens College. And he died a pauper, and the rest of the story is we still don't have any money here. So, <laughs> In any case, um, Dimex was founded in 1989, and one of, as one of the original NSF science and technology centers. This was a nationwide uh, competition, and there were no rules in this competition. So the only rules were, or the only principles were, you had to do cutting edge science, you had to have a technology transition, and you had to have an academic partner and uh, an industry partner and a government partner. So we had two university partners, Rutgers and Princeton, when we started. And our industry partners were AT&T, which at that point was AT&T Bell Labs, and uh, Bellcore, Bell Communications Research, which was the operating company's, their research arm. And then we had a New Jersey Commission on Science and Technology, and we put the proposal in. Uh, I read that proposal uh, 11 years after we started, which was our last year as an STC, and I would never have funded it. <laughs> Nevertheless, it got us uh, you know, w winning this competition, which were about 800 applicants. And so when we are, as I understand it, out of the original class of uh, science and technology centers, uh, there are only two that still exist, including Dimex. The other one happens to be Leroy Hood Center for Systems Biology, which is worth about $3 billion now. And so I think we are not quite in that league. But nevertheless, uh, if you're here in a couple of years, we're going to celebrate our 30th birthday. And a lot of what Dimex does is we do workshops. And those workshops fall into thematic programs. Uh, this particular one fits into uh, a thematic program that has to do with uh, dynamic data sharing, and uh, things of that sort. Our technical name is the Special Focus on Information Sharing and Dynamic Data Analysis. Those are themes that have been with us at Dimex for many, many years. The optimization, uh, big data, uh, information sharing, uh, privacy, distributed data, uh, getting your information from lots of sources, uh, not always trustworthy. All those things are themes that have been with us since the beginning. This happens to be a very nice workshop because it combines a lot of the themes. We try to do that here by having folks uh, from different disciplines and hopefully we get them to talk to each other a little bit. And I often challenge people who come to a Dimex workshop to say that um, you've met at least one other person that you didn't know. And sometimes, maybe over cocktails, we challenge you to remember the names of people you met. So you can try that later. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to thank the organizers. This is a really nice program, especially for arranging this at the time of the eclipse. And uh, again, uh, enjoy it. I'm glad we could modify the program a little bit so people can get out and see it. And uh, also, uh, Special thanks to NSF, which has sponsored uh, this whole series of workshops that we call the Special Focus. NSF has been our, one of our primary, if not the primary, sponsor at IMAX since we started. Uh, we get our funds from lots of different sources nowadays. In fact, if anybody is, has a rich uncle and wants to contribute, we also take uh, donations. But anyway, uh, this is a very interesting workshop. It's a nice venue. Enjoy the day, enjoy tomorrow, enjoy the campus.
to get out and explore a little bit. We even have a, have a farm at Rutgers. If you're tired of thinking about optimization, you can go see our sheep or our cows or try one of the Rutgers tomatoes. <laughs> and uh, in any case, enjoy the day and thanks for coming. <laughs>